The AGM-183 ARRW, Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, is a hypersonic weapon plan for use by the United States Air Force. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the boost glide weapon is propelled to a maximum speed of more than Mach 5 by a rocket motor before gliding towards its target. A super-duper missile was announced by U.S. President Donald Trump during a press availability in the Oval Office on May 15, 2020. According to Trump, the super-duper missile is 17 times faster than existing missiles in the United States arsenal. However, Kingston Reef of the Arms Control Association believes the claim may have been a misstatement. PBS News correspondent Nick Schifrin has theorized that the super-duper missile is the AGM-183A, as has the China Times. The AGM-183A has a claimed maximum speed of 3,836 miles per hour, 6,173 kilometers per hour, Mach 5.0. The weapon uses a boost glide system, in which it is propelled to hypersonic speed by a rocket on which it is mounted before gliding towards a target. According to Popular Mechanics, the U.S. Air Force was, as of April 2020, considering using the remaining fleet of B-1B bombers as AGM-183A firing platforms, with each aircraft carrying up to 31 of the weapons mounted internally and on external pylons. A booster flight test of ARRW took place in April 2021 at Point Mugusi Range, off the coast of Southern California but did not launch successfully, this was the eighth test for ARRW. Another test in May 2021 for the ARRW's avionics, sensors and communication systems, was successful. The test did not use any of the ARRW systems but instead used a B-52 base system. On a flight to Alaska from Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana, the B-52 was able to receive target data from over 1,000 nautical miles, 1,900 kilometers, away. In July 2021, a second flight test at Point Mugusi Range, again being dropped from a B-52 bomber, was a failure as the rocket motor failed to ignite. On December 15, 2021, the third flight test failed to launch as well. On March 9, 2022, Congress halved funding for ARRW and transferred the balance to ARRW's RAND account to allow for further testing, which puts the procurement contract at risk. On May 14, 2022, the 419th Flight Test Squadron and the Global Power Bomber Combined Test Force at Edwards Air Force Base conducted the first successful test of the ARRW off the coast of Southern California. The weapon demonstrated separation from the B-52H Stratofortress. Its booster ignited and burned for the expected duration, and the weapon was able to achieve speeds greater than Mach 5, 6,100 km per hour, 3,800 miles per hour. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and share. Thank you.